Hello everybody. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Kant Singh from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this presentation, we will be doing data profiling using frequency report in IR. It is very useful tool and very handy in situations where you got IR setup, you got name three server up and running and we want to do data analysis on a particular field more often than not on a field on which you will be generating the keys. During this presentation we will discuss briefly about why we need data profiling. Of course we will be going through how we can do it and we can briefly discuss what we can do once we know about data profiling once we completed our data profiling. So why do we need data profiling? Typical scenario in MDM or IR, we have frequency reports and that's specific to a population. These frequency reports tells us how do we have a common verse distributed How do we have frequency distributed about those common words so that when IR is doing the key generation, it accounts for those and generate more tighter keys that result into performance. Now there would be some situations where customer data is not really a typical organizational data on which IR population is uh, supposed to work. Now there we need data profiling and we need to understand, you need to understand your data on which you will be searching on. So let's jump onto the demo, how to do data profiling. So here I have 9.5 HF1 installation. I'll be bringing up license server. I'll be bringing up name three server. and I will be opening edit rule wizard. Select a particular system, select a particular population, I'm going to select USA and select a particular field. Let's say I select organization name. Here you say import then it will ask you from where you want to get the word list. So I have around 700k records in this file and these are organization name and say I want to generate frequency report say yes here select your encoding if your file needs encoding you can analyze more than one group of words so that will tell you like two set of words together what's the frequency of those or you can analyze a simple one word same way you can analyze what is what is the group of initials you have I move on how many lines you want to appear by default zero it will give you all the lines if you want to delete existing word list I don't want to do that I just want to generate report and see what words are common and what's the frequency so I say next once you submit it well, this kind of looks hung, but it is really not. If you really want to see what process is running, open your task manager. And there you will see a process, something like this. So this is, this process correspond to your frequency generation. Usually it's pretty fast. For 700k it should not take more than 2 or 3 minutes. Okay, so now that we see we got the report. Let's have a quick look at this one. You got all the word phrases. Again, they are single word because that's how it's selected. You can sort on frequency. And based on this particular customer data, 
I got lot of insurance words in, in the complete organization name list, like 73,000. So now you can understand that if you search for insurance corporation, insurance being very common word, you will get lot of candidates and that might result in a performance issue. What we can do with that? Well, of course, you can always provide more information since you know that you have a lot of insurance in your database. So something like first American insurance corporation instead of just insurance corporation would help. Now this list, it tells you whether it's, it's whether this one particular word is defined as a common word or if it has a rule defined. When it says rule defined in population, you have a specific rule defined and it could be any of rules. It could be phrase rule or it could be, you know, uh, identifying it as a noise word, that kind of rule. For some cases, there is no, that's not defined as a common rule or that's actually defined as a common rule title here, but it does not have any specific rule. Now this list is not very helpful since you cannot export it and there would be situation here you don't want to export it and just play around with uh, using uh, using you know Excel or some other tool. There is another good way to generate frequency report and which I'm showing you next. Uh, you can use command line utility to do that. So let's quickly close this. We don't need this one. And we have IR assisted name three server up and running, license server up and running. Okay, so the utility which we can use to generate report, frequency report is GenRep. And if you really want to see what all options you have, type GenRep and hit enter. And it will create a file in which you are running. So let's say this is a file which got created right now. I will go ahead and have a look at this file and again it tells you what all various options available with this utility. Default options and some important options what we what we need to know is this one. So of course GenDep is your utility. N3SGXX is your uh, that's your uh, name three service group. XXO is your algorithm name that correspond to organization name fields. So you what essentially it signifies that you will be uh, parsing this particular file for organization names and this is your file names. I happen to be there in the same directory. Minus M default is your system name. Uh, don't get confused with the system of IR. The system of the population file so this is a folder in under your PR directory where you have all the population files stored minus Q and following that you will have population name minus G is option if you want to group of two words so if you can see in using this report we will be generating frequency report containing two words and minus O and that's your output file name I run it same way I can follow task manager to see the progress of this particular utility and see if the process is actually running and in that case you can see you got one process something like this which is pretty fast in essence so you can see process has completed let's see the report file And this is your frequency report file. And you can see here you got two word combination. So you, in this particular customer data, customer happen to have real estate as a word 17,000 times. So it gives you complete uh, profiling on how many times you have this word. Of course, it does not give you whether you have a rule or not, but it's very useful in knowing what's the frequency distribution of your of your data on a particular key. So just a summary, what we saw, uh, we need data profiling to understand hotspot while searching data. So essentially we need to, uh, we can, uh, I mean having this, using this tool, we can identify how many words appears how many times, and then we can understand that this will, uh, performance will be slower if you happen to search on those words. 
we can identify common words and this tool you can actually use on any data set be it infam dm multi domain edition or sibyl ucm because they happen to use the ir or as a matter of fact any distribution you would like to see on any of the file we are we would always love to hear back from you these are the email id which you can respond to or you can give feedback on twitter as well thanks for your time signing off now